Hi friends, I'm Katie. Welcome back to my studio. Today I'm going to do a quick product review for these Shuttle Art Dual Tip Dot Markers. So you've probably seen the like brand name version of these a lot. The Zig Dual Zig Clean Color Dot Markers are really popular. Uh, they've kind of taken the planner world by storm. You've probably seen them. They're like a fun way to checklists on your page. I don't have any Zig brand ones to compare them to. I've never bought any. They're a little pricey and I actually was just planning on buying a few when I saw these. These are really new. The Amazon listing at the time of filming only has like four or five reviews and they all are from late February. 2022 or newer so I think they've only been on the market a couple weeks is my guess obviously it's on Amazon it's hard to know I have been using these Colink ones um, that I bought on AliExpress they you know took the slow boat from China um, and I've talked about these in previous videos I've never like wholeheartedly recommended them they are cheap and I will put the link Below, but you gotta wait a long time for them to arrive and um, a couple of them are like really bleedy they all have a tendency to sh like show through on your paper like juicy is just kind of how these things tend to be but a couple of these are like really leaky and so you have to be careful and I've been burned once or twice so I knew that I really like using this kind of product but I had some gaps in the colors that I wanted to be able to use. So I had been like just about to place a Zig Clean Color Dot order uh, where I just picked the couple that I needed um, to like kind of fill out my color range. And then I saw these. And so there are 18 colors here. Two of them are metallic. There's a silver and a gold. So 16 colors. And like honestly, for the price of I think about three zig clean color dots so i got these um i just opened them this morning i have this isn't a straight up first impression i have um tried them out a little bit but obviously i don't have any long-term data to convey to you about how they hold up uh but so far i'm really happy with them i think this is a really great set of colors the listing has a mistake and has like this dark blue color twice and doesn't show this olive green one and i really love the olive green so that was a happy surprise um so let me do a little swatching here for you so i'm gonna do these on some happy planner paper uh this is not their newest line this is like a 2021 planner because i know they changed their paper so just gonna tell you that i really recommend you swatch on a paper that is like what you want to use them for because they do turn out differently in different paper this is some marker paper i used at first and it definitely interacts with this like coated paper differently than with the planner paper so I recommend you swatch on something that's similar so you probably know this already how big a dot you get depends on how hard you push so here's like a smaller one here's a and a bigger one these are stiffer than my Aliexpress ones they don't make, like I have to push a little harder, which I don't mind. That means it's easier to get smaller dots. Um, so I don't mind that at all, but that is a thing I need to adjust to. And that's a pretty light color and I don't see any shadowing on the other side. These colors, uh, these markers don't come with color names. I've named them myself just so for my swatch so i named this one cotton candy oh and they're dual tips so there's a, a felt tip marker on the other end 
I've also rearranged the colors to be in approximately Roy G. Biv time uh, order. They didn't come that way either. And I called this one Raspberry. We'll check all of them for bleed at the end. Um, but with usually what I do with uh, the with the ones that bleed through or show through pretty badly is I make these dots on a sticker so they're not right on my page. And I'm doing three dots, a light, a slightly harder, and like a harder and linger. It doesn't really change the size of the dot, um, but it might affect bleed through. So we will look at all of that at the end. So here, like I can tell like this one is different. And this is probably something that is based on, you know, the price and the quality control, but like you can see how much softer uh, the dots, like the nib is, and how much bigger the dots with the same amount of pressure are. So it's just a thing to know. I don't think it really bothers me, but I would want to stay on top of that. So the metallic ones are like noticeably more juicy and the tip is less fine. So just as a heads up. Okay, so there are all of the swatches. Let's look and see what's happening on the back of the page. So there is some bleeding on the like press and hold. That's not surprising. There's like a little bit of almost bleeding in some of the like bigger, more pressure dots, like fast, but more pressure dots. And actually the really like light touch ones is pretty much nothing for any of them. So you could always put these on a sticker and then you know, you'd have the extra layer of paper underneath it. I think you could do the little dots without a problem. And honestly, even the medium dots are not too bad. I wouldn't like press and hold, but like probably you shouldn't do that. I tend to be pretty light handed. Um, so also take that for what it's worth. This is the value in swatching. But I think this is a great color range. The value is really good. As I said, I can't speak to the long term um, quality of these, but I'm really pleased with how they uh, have started. Uh, they do, I have noticed the color changes a little as they dry. So just be on guard for that. Again, that's the value in having a swatch. But I feel like this sun color gets a little orangier as time goes on. But I think it's a great color range. I think you could buy this set and pretty much have everything you want. But if you wanted more like pastels, um, the Zig Clean Color does have like a mild or like specifically a pastel one that I think could fit in here really well. That's what these. For me also do they're a little lighter a little milder um and i'll have those things below but i think these are a great option i believe I'll, I'll put the link below and you know amazon prices kind of fluctuate but they were somewhere around 12 dollars for all 18 and i just think it's a great option if you're looking to do these um i say give them a try let me show you what I use them for. So these are from my old set that I like to use them as these little, little circles to check off. It's just really satisfying and I really enjoy it. So links below. Have fun. Bye friends.